Warning, this content may be upsetting or disturbing to some audiences. I'm a pedophile who has been arrested, hey all. Basically I would like to do an amour regarding my mental illness. I'm a pedophile. That being said I have never harmed a child. The reason that I would like to do this is to present a view of this condition from the position of someone suffering from it, and not from what people are in news headlines. It is hell, and there is no support and no one to reach out to. I am certain that many users on this site suffer similarly and others who have suffered at the hands of people with this condition, and I would like the opportunity for people to discuss this with a sufferer. Question. What age group are you most affected by? I had a friend that was found with thousands of images on his computer of child pornography. It was awful, and no one would have ever expected it from him. The worst was how well he was seen by the community for his interactions with children, and how involved he was with kids sporting groups and such. He has never acted on his urges, or so he says, and no one has come forward. Anywho, what struck me the hardest was that his images were of infants and toddlers. How can someone find it in their will to see a child in this way? Yeah, I've seen those kind of images, they make me sick too. Personally I'm more impacted by females from around 11 plus, I think the thing that draws me towards them is the innocence and purity that I can see. It is not purely a sexual attraction, but there is an element of that. You said you never harmed her children, but isn't viewing child pornography harmful to children? By viewing it, you are the contributing to the demand for it. I consider that very harmful to the future children who will be used for pornography, because of people like yourself who view it. Eater, you said that you're attracted to women your age do you intend on having children in the future? I'm not going to lie, you are right that being said the way it is shared the person who makes it has no idea how many have received it so the feedback they receive is very limited, so in some ways I don't feel that this cycle is influenced by lurkers who only receive it third hand. Not that I'm trying to justify it at all. Yes, I do intend to have children and I'm not concerned that I would abuse them. Even if you wouldn't abuse them, are you concerned about how you would view them? Would you avoid situations like bathing your child? Would you be open with your wife about this prior to having the child? I would inform my wife definitely. Also I have had experience in the past with bathing children, and I do not view them as sexual objects in that context. I keep my fixation to online. Well this will be hard for you. So did you act on your urges were you able to contain yourself somehow? Why have you been arrested? How did you become one? Did you thought about turning yourself in because you didn't want to hurt anyone? Hi, interesting questions. Basically I was arrested for a single image that traced my IP address. I did not create that image and was not distributing it. I discovered in my teen years, I initially justified it as I was into people my own age and then realized that it was not normal as I got older. I didn't turn myself in and wouldn't have done as it would mean I would lose my job, and being an out pedophile is essentially volunteering for social exclusion. I also am certain that I would never act out against a child. So let me get this straight, you say you were arrested for a single photo, and you didn't produce or distribute it. How did law enforcement get involved by tracing your IP for an image you didn't distribute? Was this peer to peer? If so, was the agency local or federal? Why would they arrest you for a single photo, unless you distributed it? I upload edit to an online photo analysis tool that doesn't distribute it. Interesting, I hope a hate train won't run you over. Another question if I may, there is a medical case of a man with a tumor in his brain that caused pedophilia. This happened twice to this man, but it is very rare. The question is, would you rather stay you, or become what we see as normal? Yeah I heard about that. Frontal lobe damage is often associated with that, and I had the sutures in my forehead fused when I was born, so I sometimes suspect that it might be involved. Given an option I would go to quite a long way to have this fixed. I'd happily have brain surgery, but would rather not have anything done to my nuts. Unfortunately I think foremost that this is an orientation and that kind of thing can't really be fixed. I feel that it would be best if support and accountability and for some supervision was offered. What are some signs of pedophilia a parent can see in their child? Signs of pedophilia a wife can see in her husband? If someone in my family turned out to be a pedophile, what should I do? Do you talk to your family about it? 
tough question that. I'm sure it's relatively normal for teens to access images of people close to their age so the actually accessing of material is not a clear indicator. I was extremely successful at hiding it, and I always cleaned up the laptop afterwards so anyone using the computer would never know. Also I suspect that teenagers these days would mostly consume porn on their phones. As a parent occasionally checking their history is worthwhile and expressing that porn is normal is too. It should be taught to children what child porn is and why it is wrong. If someone close to you is a pedophile then just treat them as before you knew that. If they are outed slash arrested life will be really difficult for them and many people who get arrested are minimal risk to society. A pedophile is a human being often fighting an ongoing internal battle. I know I'm a little late, but I don't really have anything to answer, just some things to say. First of all, I'm sorry for all of the hate you are getting. It is hard to find support for even non-harmful mental illness, so I cannot begin to imagine what it is like for you. Everyone says you have a problem, no one wants to help cure the problem. Second, I was assaulted by a man in his 50s, when I was 11 to 12. It is extremely, extremely traumatizing. For the next week, I won't be leaving my house, because it happened at the town carnival, and it is back in town again for this year. But at least I have been through years of therapy and I have intense support. Everyone is there for me and nobody is there for that man to make sure he has support to never do it again. The mental health system needs to change to support not only victims, in making sure they have what they need to move on, but also the assailants, or would be, to make sure they do not repeat, or act on it. Everyone loves to point fingers, that it is your fault, but nobody wants to help change that. People are pointing fingers at you for watching child porn, but in the few comments I read, nobody asked if you were trying to stop, what made you look for it in the first place, etc. Thank you for understanding, I'm really sorry about your situation, but I'm glad to hear you are doing well. I mentioned in another post, how my interest started, by looking at anime porn, and then clothed child models, and then fell further down that rabbit hole. I have stopped, and fully intend to abstain, but that is really tough. So you're arrested, is there any kind of medical, and, or psychological support for you? Don't know where you from. But in my country there are such kind of therapy to control your illness and not become a perpetrator. Hi, after being arrested I was assessed by a nurse essentially to confirm that I wasn't about to kill myself and was given the number of a charity which I could call. I have not done this yet due to anxiety issues and the fact that I've been burying my head in the sand for a while. Interestingly it is an organization I had reached out to before and found their help to be unhelpful. We talked briefly via email and I suspect that they didn't consider me to be that much of a risk, so communication just stopped. Can you understand why I as a parent, even though you have never hurt a child would want to hurt you, if I found out you had been around my child? People are comparing it to other mental diseases and whatnot, but considering how innocent and defenseless children are, it's a totally different ball game and is why it's such a stigma. I know it's not right but could you understand the way people like me behave with the issue? Yeah. I do understand that, and to someone like you, I would emphasize that one of my deepest held moral guidelines is to never harm a child. That being said I can totally understand your concerns, and how disastrous it would be if you placed your trust in someone like me, and they abuse that trust. Are you a registered sex offender? Not now but it could happen. I'm actually a virgin. Oh, another thing, I'm a drug addict, I have been through so many treatments and programs that I could teach them, and while I don't want to use I do, over and over. So honestly, please don't ever have children, just don't put yourself or your wife in that position please. Personally I feel that this is a bit different. I don't have a history of abusing children in the same way that a recovering addict has a problem abusing drugs. So it's not like a relapse. It would be like smoking pot for 10 years, and then suddenly smoking meth. Comparing you viewing child pornography to smoking marijuana has made me angry. You did not smoke marijuana. You view photos and videos of children being abused, and masturbate to it. You find 11 year old girls sexually attractive. You do not get a little buzz. You find children hot. Sexually exciting. There is a very big difference. My point is to don't jump from pot to crystal meth. 
In similar way not everyone who starts with child porn doesn't jump to abusing children. You said you would never act on your desires, so what do you think makes a person go from viewing child pornography to actually assaulting a child? I think for some who suffer from pedophilia and other cognitive distortions, that child porn normalizes abuse to them and numbs them from feeling empathy for the child. I feel most who do it don't understand how bad it is. Additional there are a number of dark net groups where people are encouraged to make and share abuse images. I've read this thread and I was wondering if there are any documented conditions of women suffering from pedophilia, is this more of a male thing? Yeah it's definitely less common, but it does happen. I suspect either the incidence of females being pedophiles or appears lower as they do not get arrested for child porn offenses as women tend to get less into porn. I've near seen a female pedophile on the internet. Hey, did you grow up as a normal kid? As in had a decent number of friends, played a sport or two, ECT. I was pretty nerdy and quiet as a kid and unfortunately I was bullied a lot by my close friends. Also my father died when I was young. I did have a loving family but school was really tough. Did you find much toddler porn that looked as though pictures were pulled from social media? As in, not pictures of sexual acts, but just pictures of naked toddlers. I have a friend who posts pictures of her little girl on FB running around naked all the time, although she does put a sticker over her genitals or butt. I still worry though, and think it's a bad idea, but maybe I'm just paranoid. I never really sought out toddler porn, but I'm aware that some of it was there. I wouldn't say it's common. But I would avoid posting any nude photos of kids as it is definitely possible that they could be found by the wrong people. And people wonder why I freak out about pictures of kids posted on social media. The internet is the trolling ground for pedophiles. There are more than you can imagine. Yeah as a general rule don't post pictures of naked kids. I'd also be cautious of posting pictures of kids in swimwear. What was it like realizing that you were a pedophiliac? Initially the discovery as a teen of what I was into was exciting as I was only looking at soft images, but over time I hated myself more and more and fell into a deep depression. This is a super interesting amor I don't really have a question, I just want to say my dad is a child molester. He never hurt me, but I did see him hurt someone else for years secretly and as a little kid I would intervene. He will never admit what he did when he eventually got caught. Even as a 6 year old I knew what he was doing was wrong. It's a hard thing to have to know that half your genetic makeup can do something so ducked up. I spent years hoping I wouldn't be feared my mom's friends around their kids if they knew what he did just because it's in my blood. I don't really have any kind of relationship with my dad. As an adult I now understand that he isn't right in the head but I can never forgive him for what he did. Wow that sucks. My grandfather molested my mother, so I guess I know where I got it from, but I really hate that man. He was such a hypocritical bastard. I have almost no sympathy for people who knowingly abuse children. I know some people don't understand the harm that they are doing, but still it makes me really angry. I actually sometimes researched the images that I saw in the hope that the abuser got jailed. So in the last few years articles started surfacing of pedophiles who acknowledged what they are with an apparent determination to never act on their urges. I totally sympathize with that and admire it. Self-control and self-discipline are pretty rare traits and sexual urges require lots. But here's a problematic part, a heroin addict can promise you that he will never touch heroin again. He may even mean it. He may even achieve the goal for a while. But there's the phenomena of relapse. One day you'll feel more depressed than usual, or something bad happens to you. Everyone knows that in those moments, people are far more likely to relapse. Wouldn't an abstaining pedophile present the exact same risk of relapse as an addict? Hi. I can see where you're coming from, but I don't think that a heroin relapse is the best parallel. A relapse means to go back to what you were previously doing, and most have not abused a child so wouldn't have something to relapse to. I do however think that steps should be taken to avoid offending like the use of accountability software, counseling and reasonable allowances in terms of jobs and activities. I've lived a life where I was exploited for the creation of child port. From the time I was 12 I was photographed and videotaped with the fear of death and blackmail until I was 24. You may have personally seen images audio or video of me masturbating when I was 12. 
I'm angry and frustrated that you seem okay with seeing it. I don't want any person to look at them. I don't want you to masturbate to a picture of me while thinking of having sex with me. Please don't look at child pornography. It hurts that when I interact with a stranger I wonder if they've seen me. That when video or pictures are taken by friends I worry and grow paranoid. Trauma is insidious. It's like a virus I always have. Don't look at pictures. See a therapist. Until you do those two things I will give you no sympathy. You were arrested for seeing a picture of me or others like me. I don't care. You deserve to be punished for exploiting us or benefiting from our exploitation. I'm truly truly sorry for what you have been through and I don't think that there is anything to say to make it better. Looking at that kind of thing is not okay, I acknowledge that and I have no intention to view them again. I'm really sorry for what happened and I think that there are ways to stop what happened to you happening to others and I believe that allowing people to anonymously be treated would help both victims and perpetrators who both have their lives ruined. I've been dealing with depression since I was 16, so I have suffered two more so than most courts could administer. Did you serve time? Was jail as bad as it's portrayed for pedos? I haven't faced trial yet, and if I do jail time is unlikely in this country for a first time non-abusive offender. If I were to face jail I'd just make up a full story as I don't believe details are given out to prisoners, and in this country prisons are fairly well run. Is pedophilia currently only viewed as a criminal offense in your country? Or is it also recognized as a mental health issue, and if so are there treatment plans or medications for people such as yourself? I think the act of viewing child porn is what generally gets people arrested. I don't think you can criminalize a feeling, but the inevitable actions are criminal. Have you ever been attracted to someone of age? Like 18 plus? Yep. I'm kinda dating someone in their 20s now. Do you think that pedophiles such as yourself would willingly come into the open? and be receptive to mental treatment like a drug user if the government created programs for you to help you, or do you think, even if such programs were available, you'd still want to shield yourself from societal judgment? Yeah I feel that coming out is not something that many people would be willing to do, that being said the option of anonymous support would greatly benefit both them and society. This is obviously massively divisive. On the one hand, I feel like people who are attracted to children are sick in the head. People who actually act on their urges and abuse children. I think they need to be killed, basically. But, here you are. I have to recognize that voluntarily doing an amour as an open pedophile is incredibly brave. You are basically asking the world to shit on you. That takes courage. I should preface this by saying I'm disturbed the very slow but somewhat consistent narrative in the media of normalizing pedophilia. That said, years ago I tried to explain to my friends that in the future I could see society and the media viewing pedophiles similarly to how gay people are viewed, with the exception that society would not accept the abuse of children in any form, though it would accept that your desires are what they are and cannot be helped any more than a gay person can be made straight. This is not something I support, I should add. I will be upfront and say that, even if you cannot help what you're attracted to, and I believe you can't, I wish there were a cure for your condition. And judging by your comments, I think you do too. My question is, do you think the normalization of pedophilia as I described above is possible in the coming century or so? And how would you feel about it? Also, if there was a pill you could take to stop feeling these urges and attractions, would you take it? Yeah I'd definitely take any cure that was offered, but I also suspect that there could not be a cure. I think that a normalization would be beneficial, but obviously I think that adult-child relationships are detestable and sadly most of the advocates that people like me have are sick bastards who want their fantasies to be legalized. Thank you for posting. I have a few questions. First off, have you ever been diagnosed with any other mental illnesses? Before you were arrested, did you ever talk to a counselor about your feelings? If you didn't, were you just too afraid of the backlash? If you did, what was the response? Hi, I have been diagnosed with dyspraxia which I feel is somewhat unrelated, and depression which was partly caused by my condition. I have had counseling for depression, but I manipulated the conversation so that this wouldn't come up because I feared being labeled and arrested as I had enough evidence on my laptop to get me arrested, so I just kept it to myself. 
I have contacted the only suitable charity in the country, but they seemed to only be properly interested when a child was at risk as the sum total of our conversation was a few mls with me describing my situation at length and a volunteer who sounded out of his depth replying without giving any helpful advice. The conversation then dried up. Would you ever consider surgical castration? No, I want kids of my own and feel that that is somewhat radical of a solution as I believe I can be a sexually functional member of society. Thanks for watching Ask Reddit. Click the subscribe button and activate the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our newest videos. Let us know your thoughts and opinions on this matter in the comments below. Also find the original post link down below in the video description.